Why humans are so special? Or are we really special? Humans are one of the species of animals. We are neither plants nor microorganisms, but rather animals. More specifically, we are apes. Yet, humans are by no means ordinary animals. What distinguishes us from other apes and the rest of the animal kingdom? The philosophical, logical, and scientific responses to that question will all be different. Evolutionary biologists, like anthropologists, will approach the subject from a different perspective, while, religious leaders will interpret the question in a completely different way. Let's phrase the question differently, to avoid any ambiguity. What distinguish us as human beings, although we eat, sleep, move and reproduce the way, most other creatures do? In terms of how our physical bodies work, we have a lot in common. But, what sets us apart from the competition? Most people believe that the fundamental differences between humans and other animal species are our ability to think, utilize complex language, solve tough issues, and engage in introspection. Meanwhile, some believe that creativity, as well as feelings of joy and sorrow, are unique to humans. Humans possess a highly developed brain that enables us to perform many of these tasks. Are these things, however, unique to humans? Based on empirical facts and observations, modern scientists found out that most of the above attributes are not unique to humans. Gunnison's prairie dogs seem to have a fairly complex language. Instead of just sounding a basic alarm call, observers have found that their alarm calls can describe specific predator speed, color, shape, size, etc. Elephants have been discovered to communicate across long distances via subsonic sound. When researchers scrutinize a hummingbird's chirp, it appears that the song is as complex as that of other birds. We consider animal language to be limited simply because we don't understand it? Caledonian crows are capable of solving problems and constructing tools, as well as completing multi-step puzzles that require planning. Gorillas and chimps have drawn pictures of birds, is this an indication, that they are capable of achieving the goal in their mind? Animals also appear to experience joy and grief. Elephants, wolves, sea lions, magpies, and many other animals grieve. Various characteristics distinguish species from each other. Swifts and albatrosses excel at flying, while dogs and rhinoceroses excel at sniffing, bats excel at hearing, and moles, aardvarks, and wombats excel at digging. Sadly, we humans aren't very good at any of these. If our ability to use complex language, solve tough problems, introspection, creativity, or feelings of joy or sorrow do not distinguish us, then what distinguishes us from the rest of the animals? In reality, humans and other animals do a few but notable differences. These differences provided us a significant advantage over all other species on the planet. First and foremost, 
it is our brain. Human brains have more neurons, and use more energy comparing to its size. Our cerebral cortex, which is responsible for higher cognition, is abnormally large, accounting for about 80% of our total brain mass. Our large brains arose as a result of our ability to walk on two legs. As our hands were liberated from the effort of walking, our brains began to grow like an evolutionary balloons. Humans do not have the world's biggest brains, which belong to sperm whales. We don't even have the biggest brains, in terms of body size. Many birds' brains, account for more than 8% of their body weight, compared to only 2.5% for humans. Despite this, the human brain, which weighs only approximately 3 pounds when fully grown, provides us with the ability to reason, and think the way, that other animals cannot. We were able to design the wheel, build the pyramids, and land on the moon thanks to our extraordinary cognitive abilities. In fact, some scientists refer to the human brain as, evolution's crowning achievement. Our extraordinary hand-eye coordination, is another feature that separates humans, from other animals. The human hand has 27 bones, 29 joints, and at least 123 identified ligaments. Around 10 to 15% of the human population is left-handed. Only one out of every hundred people are ambidextrous, which means they can use both hands equally. Usually, we don't consider our hands to be very remarkable. But can we think of another creature that can accomplish as vast and varied things with its hands as we do? By far a chimp is the closest match. Chimp hands, on the other hand, are bigger, stronger, but more clumsy than ours. Chimps are incapable of performing tasks such as typing with all 10 fingers, peeling an apple, or tying a knot. This is largely due to the fact, that we have shorter hands and longer, stronger thumbs, than our ape cousins. Larger muscles in the forearm provide strength in our fingers, whereas much smaller muscles in the hand provide delicate manipulative control. Contrary to common belief, humans are not the only animals with opposable thumbs, in fact, most primates have them. But, what makes human hands different, from other primates? The ability to bring our thumbs, all the way across the hand to our ring and little fingers, distinguishes humans from all other primates. Another remarkable feature is the ability to stretch the ring, and little fingers toward the base of our thumb. This allows us to hold, and operate tools with a strong grip and excellent dexterity. No other species can match our ability, to manage our environment with our hands. We even invent extra tools for our hands, to further extend our mastery of the world around us. In order to utilize our hands well, we must also have an outstanding vision. Some creatures, such as high-flying hawks and eagles, can detect motion from much larger distances than we can, and some species can see considerably better in the dark than humans can. But for all-around color vision, detail, 
and resolution, humans are among the very best. Our eyes, when combined with our highly interconnected brain, upright walk for seeing straight ahead, a movable neck for seeing side to side, and our total stature, open the world to us in a way that no other species can. By integrating our unique brains, social structure, speech, hands, and eyes, we achieved extraordinary advancements in science and technology. Communicating to dozens, if not millions, through the written word, allowed us to explore the world around us. Do you recall the first time your hand was burned? Did you drop your hot milk on your hand, or did you accidentally touch the scorching pan? Since then, have you been afraid to fire? If that is the case, please note that you are not alone. We are all afraid of fire, and the destruction it can cause. On the other hand, we have learned to control it and uses it for our benefits. Humans are the only biological animals who have learned and mastered to control fire. If you think about it, every other animal in the world is terrified of fire. There are clear benefits of fire. It allows us to work after sunset, as well as areas, where sunlight is unable or will not reach. Second, fire adds to our warmth and allows us to go to colder locations. Third, fire allows us to cook food, particularly meat, which provides ample calories and protein. Cooking our food, sets us apart from other species, because it provides us with the required energy to properly utilize our large brain, which is a substantial drain on our energy supplies, even at nights. However, we would not have been able to construct any advanced, or even primary tools employing metal, if we had never mastered the strength of fire. The ability to use heat, to make even more powerful hand tools, equipment, and weapons ensured human survival on the planet. Without fire, no machines, tools, chemistry, or most importantly the use of electricity could have evolved. Does our anatomy and genome also make us unique? Earlier, we briefly explored our unique intelligence, which allows us to think in complicated and abstract ways. Our brain is built in such a way that it is unlike any other. Over 100,000 cells, 4 kilometers of cell wire, and 1 billion connections between neurons can be found in only one cubic millimeter of our brain. Our brain structure and organization are absolutely unique and unrivaled. Furthermore, without our particular brain structure, we would be unable to communicate. So, the combination of a unique and most powerful brain, extraordinary hand-eye coordination, ability to generate and utilize fire, special anatomy and genome, made us distinct from all other species. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing, which means a lot to me. I love to see your thoughts in the comment section.